True Blue fans are just waiting on the UK basketball team to snap out of their funk and start putting together wins. But in the meantime, the Wildcats are suffering through a three-game losing streak, something that's never happened under Coach Calipari. The Cats held a four-point lead at the half against Texas A&M on Saturday, but the defense fell apart and the Aggies built up a 23-point lead before UK made it a respectable final score of 85-74. Still, the Cats are now 17-8 overall, 6-6 six and six in the SEC. They're more concerned about how they're playing, and then when they're concerned, they look really bad individually. Look like you can't play basketball. You're not very good. And when you're in that fighting mode, and all of a sudden, all the good stuff that you have in your body comes out, you really look like a good player, and you're playing for us instead of yourself. There's not enough trust there yet. Former UK basketball player Terry Mobley has passed away at the age of 74. He helped, uh, or rather played, for Adolph Rupp from 1962 to 65, where he made a memorable shot against Duke for a win in the Sugar Bowl Classic. He later helped UK with a capital fundraising effort and played several roles at the university before he became a member of the Board of Trustees. Millward on Broadway is handling the arrangements. Ole Miss basketball coach Andy Kennedy is resigning at the end of the season. He's one of only five coaches in SEC history to win at least 20 games in nine of his first 11 seasons. Listen to this. The others, Billy Donovan, Joe B. Hall, Tubby Smith, and Nolan Richardson. But the Rebels have missed out on the tournament the last three seasons. Last week, the Kentucky football team added two new coaches for the upcoming season. Today, we had the chance to talk with Michael Smith, who comes to Kentucky after coaching at Arkansas the last three seasons. He was a big-time player at Kansas State and also Brad White will coach the outside linebackers. He was with the Indianapolis Colts the last two years. Of course you're watching from afar but again it's in the conference so you're watching and you're watching them on TV. You see guys out there playing hard. You see guys out there competing and it, I think if you can get your team to do that and keep making progress each year I think you're heading the right direction and that was something I, I was obviously I wanted to be a part of. This was an ascending program uh, with a lot of talent there at the outside linebacker position. Um, and again, that's just that. That's, that's potential, uh, and we saw the potential, but now I have to come in and do my job uh, and help those guys fulfill their potential. Late last night, Campbellsville University celebrated the program's first national championship won by the women's wrestling program. The Tigers edged Simon Frazier by just five points in the championship. Cam Campbellsville had 11 All-Americans this season. We'll be right back.